skill for anyone living in this world. Having the ability to tackle a problem without tackling those who do not share your viewpoint sometimes requires a facilitator who can keep all eyes focused on the issue at hand. Today, Jasmine will endeavor to keep us focused as we tackle a problem and not each other. Her speech is entitled, Please Leave Your Pet at Home. <coughs> Please welcome Jasmine. Good morning. Good morning. We're here to help Mr. and Mrs. Squirrel resolve a problem. They write, Dear Articulators, we desperately need your help resolving a situation with a house guest, <coughs> or should we say, a house pet. Uh, in my in-laws, whom I adore, often visit and are wonderful guests. Unfortunately, they bring with them their pet monkey, who is not. The monkey makes a mess of the guest room and marks the territory with the most pungent scent which lingers long after they've left. How can I ask them not to bring their monkey when next they visit? Mm -hmm. And that is the challenge before us this morning, Articulators. How can we help the squirrel family maintain good relations with their relatives while still asking them to leave the monkey? Now we have five minutes to brainstorm solutions. Anyway, how can you ask somebody to leave a pet at home without offending them? Please. Jasmine, you might explain to them that you do enjoy the pets themselves. But unfortunately, you have an allergy that comes into play and that although you enjoy their pet, it would be kind of them to, to address your medical needs. Okay. A suggestion. Thank you. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. I would say monkey business stays with monkey business. <laughs> Leave your monkey business at home. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? I'm going to suggest that they go with the Toastmasters evaluation plan, the sandwich rebuttal to them and say, we love seeing you and having you here with us as guests. However, your monkey is in essence a problem for us because of the smell and it's just not what we want in our home. We hope that you can come without the monkey in the future because we would hate to lose the valuable interaction that you give us when you come to visit. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? I just tell them I don't have any spare diapers and you leave your monkey at home. <laughs> no spare diapers, please leave your monkey at home. Paul. I get a dog that likes monkeys. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh, I like to eat monkeys. Mm -hmm. A dog that likes to eat monkeys. Okay. <clears throat> I just have to ask, what were they thinking? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't. They weren't. <laughs> Thank you. The direct approach is always best. Just say, leave your monkey at home. <laughs> Now I have a question. I myself have always deferred to fish as a pet. Oh. Nice, simple, easy to maintain. But are people <coughs> are people offended by how we view their pets? For instance, if, if you have a cat, a dog and someone says to you, I don't want your cat around, I don't want your dog around. Do pet owners typically find that offensive or not? Are you asking for that? I'm asking for a response. Uh, my opinion is that they shouldn't, but I, I bet that there are some pet owners <coughs> who are a little over the top. You know, the kind that buy purses and little 
outfits for their animals or, or anything like that. But we should all be entitled to our opinion, right? I mean, we should all be, and as long as it doesn't harm another person, right. plus we're in our home. We should be a haven? We should be. Just like smoking, yes. your pet is a choice that you make. And yes, everyone should be entitled to that. The world has recognized this issue and created pet-friendly restaurants, pet parks for exercising pets, stores that actually allow pets into the store, like most of the pet supermarkets and things of that nature. So. It isn't that the pet owner is ostracized from society by having their pet as their constant companion. However, it is a personal preference. There are many restaurants, parks, stores that do not allow pets. And there are probably private residences that do not allow pets as well. And it's a choice. You just need to have the rules clearly identified. Thank you. Thank you.